when everybody first started talking about fracture and that this whole idea of the terrain deformation that everybody sort of latched onto, one of the things we wanted to do too is make sure that the weapons all tied into that and actually were integrated. So it wasn't just like, well, here's your standard set of weapons that you see in this type of game, and also here's terrain deformation. We really try to push it all together and create something that will just become second nature to you. Jet Brody is the character that you play, and he's got some cybernetic enhancements that allow him to survive in the world and survive as a soldier, and one of those is an entrencher. There's areas throughout the game where you can use the entrencher, and you'll have crates, rocks kind of on the top of the hill, and then you can entrench the ground beneath it, and they'll come tumbling down and actually crush any enemies that might be in their path. There are a number of different classes of weapons in Fracture. We've got the detonate at will bucket, like the torpedo gun. The torpedo gun is one of the really cool weapons we have in Fracture, where it actually sends a projectile under the ground, and then the player can choose when they want to detonate it. So something that I find really fun to do is build a huge hill in front of me so I'm protected from everything, and then I shoot the torpedo and it goes straight through the ground and hits my enemies. You've got the Black Widow, which is another kind of a detonate at will weapon where you launch sticky grenades and then you can detonate them in order. You can wreak so much destruction with the thing. And then you have the Rhino gun. The Rhino gun is most likely the most science fiction of all the weapons. It basically forms a huge energy boulder that just bulldozes and these rocks shoot out and stick to it like a magnet. It leaves a really big mess of dead bodies behind it. The four different grenades in Fracture are the subsonic grenade, the tectonic grenade, the spike grenade, and the vortex grenade. And the subsonic and tectonic basically either raise or lower the ground. So I see a guy coming at me, I'll throw a grenade, and I'll have this huge explosion, this dirt raining down on you. I mean, when most people first play, they're a little bit shell-shocked. Spike grenade is pretty unique because it creates this gigantic molten spike that you can hide behind if you need to. You can also ride the top of it to get to certain areas that you couldn't get to otherwise, or you can create sort of a perch for yourself. And then the vortex grenade sucks in everybody and everything around it, spins it around, and then it has this huge explosion, blows everything out from the middle. The coolest part of the weapons in Fracture is that they're so different, and you can tell that they were really created as a labor of love by the design team, like the ice rifle. You can raise the ground and freeze the ground, you know, you can freeze your enemy. It's really cool. My favorite weapon in the game would have to be the lodestone. It's the one that just sucks everybody up into one big area. You can even use it to, like, suck enemies into walls and make them wall splat and fall into lava and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. My favorite weapon of Fracture is probably the mine gun. Just because of the amount of traps you can set in multiplayer and the ways to use it against enemies in cover. My favorite is Black Widow. I love just being able to get a high advantage and just rain down sweet, sweet destruction. Evil all the way. My favorite weapon in the game right now is the Bangalore rocket launcher. And if you've got the Bangalore, you can fire a rocket and take out a bunch of guys at one time. <laughs> That's just me. You'd be hard-pressed to find a weapon set as interesting and varied and unique as what you're going to find in Fracture. There's so many weapons in this game, and what you've seen today is just really a small sample of them. There's something for everyone in this game. The weapons really stand out. I think people are going to have higher expectations of weapons in games after they've played Fracture and seen what they could have access to.